one of the first questions you'll get when people are learning Flux is with actions, well, this seems great for all these synchronous actions that happen inside of the application. How do I handle asynchronous actions? Like let's say I wanna load data from another page and then create an action when that's done. Well, that actually is a lot simpler than it may seem at first. Let's change this. I've got this web app here with a create button that just creates a timestamp to do. Um, and you see every time I hit create, create, it creates a new one. So let's change this button to load or reload. Let's say that's gonna actually reload to do's. Reload to do's. And we'll go to do actions, reload to do's. And we don't really need to pass it any information. So now we just need to create this reload to do's action. So reload to do's would normally do something like say, you know, it's going to call Axios or, you know, jQuery Ajax, if you're using that still, um, Axios, and we're just going to get some URL, uh, some URL.com, some data endpoints. Okay. So that's going to do that. And then data. It's going to have all of our data here. So we want this to kind of notify my app when all the data comes through. How do we do that? Uh, to fake this, I can just use a set timeout. And really all you do is you just dispatch multiple events. So we're gonna go dispatcher. When we first start loading our event, I'm going to say fetching or fetch to do's. So I'm gonna fire off a fetch to do's event, just in case anybody cares about that. Maybe there's a loader that's gonna start loading. Uh, maybe my to do's is going to listen to that and change to do's this state dot loading to true. So then we can now spit out a loader on the page. Um, like I said, maybe, maybe I can listen to more than uh, just the to do store change event. Maybe I can listen to something else. Um, so we're gonna start off by firing a fetch to do's event. And then we're going to go ahead and start our Ajax operation, which I'll just pretend by doing a set timeout. And let's say a second later, which is a long time, but it helps to visually see it. A second later, we've got our data, awesome. Uh, so now we just dispatch a second event. Type is receive to do's. And let me say there's some data in here. So this will come with some data. Um, maybe that, you know, Ajax returns some data for us. Let me go to that to-do store and kind of snatch this out. And we'll make this thing receive some new to-dos after one second. So a second after you hit the button, it's going to pull in some other mumbo jumbo. Let's create some fake IDs here. And we're going to go shopping again. We're going to hug your wife. Not your wife, hug your own wife. Um, and let's say that that one's true because um, we should do that often. Good husband. Uh, so there we go. So we're going to dispatch the event that we fetched our to-dos. And then we're going to fetch our other event when we receive to-dos. Let's say there was some sort of problem. If something goes wrong, then you can actually dispatch a receive to-dos error. And this will be like, uh, what goes wrong? or fetch to do's error probably makes more sense so we didn't receive anything. Fetch to do's error, so we could respond to the fetch to do's error. Uh, let's go ahead and load this up, to do's, save it all. So again, I'm gonna hit this reload button. And when reload button fires, we're gonna call to do actions, reload to do's. At the very beginning, we're gonna fire fetch to do's, we're gonna dispatch that. And then one second later, when we've loaded them up, we're going to fire receive to do's. Now the store doesn't have a receive to do's method yet. So we need to do something uh, when receive to do's comes through. So receive to do's, we're going to receive to do's. And you could actually just go this to do's. I'll just hack this in here. This to do's equals action to do's. I think that's what I called it, didn't I? Type. I didn't give it a name. There you go. So I'm dispatching a type of receive to do's and a to do's value will be the array of new to do's. 
So there we go. If you're if we're receiving to do's, let's just wipe the whole thing. And now let's fire this dot emit change. Got to make sure we emit that change so our component knows to update. No errors, that's good. Reload. And a second later, we've got new to-dos. Let's try that again. Let's refresh our page. So we've got go shopping and pay water bill. If you reload, it goes to the server. And a second later, we've got our updated to-dos. So that's how you handle your async operations in Flux.